Hello and welcome to the first video in English from the channel Crochet is Fun. We are going to be working on some baby scratch mittens. It's a newborn size and this time we're going to swap and do the main part blue and the frilly bit in white. For this project we are going to need scissors, a stitch marker, if you don't have one use yarn, a different color yarn, a round counter, if you don't have it, you can always put right down on a piece of paper or your, on your mobile, it depends on where you are and how you want to do it. And um, this is Debbie Bliss as well, white yarn, but I'm not sure of the, the details because this is a leftover. And I think I threw out the label. For the main part, we are going to use Debbie Bliss Echo Baby Prints Organic Cotton and the color number is 56006, 56006, and it's called for a needle 3.25, a needle, crochet hook, sorry, a crochet hook 3.25, but I am also, I'm instead using a 3.5, so it's 3.5 millimeters instead of 3.25. And it says here that for the US the size is a size 3. So I still think that if even if you use a um, 3.5 millimeters, it's still a size 3. So let's start with a slip knot. There's many ways to do a slip knot, but this is how I do it. I usually grab the yarn and put it between my index and thumb, go around the, the index finger. With my thumb I press on the X I've just created and I pull out the first loop. With the main yarn I pull it through the loop creating a second loop. Now this is the loop we want to work on and we grab the, yarn, the, the end tail and the yarn, the main yarn, in our fingers, index and thumb and just pull it. This is it, this is a slip knot, it's very straightforward. And now, because it's adjustable, it's very easy to work with. Now we are going to pull it through until we have the right size. Now this is on the wrong end. <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, I have a terrible cold. <coughs> so now you create tension as you want to, there's no right or wrong way to do it whatever you feel comfortable with and what we are going to start by doing is a chain of seven to make a chain you have this loop here from the slip knot you grab yarn or yarn over the crochet hook and you go through the loop you've just you had before and let's do a new one and what you do it's yarn over and go through the loop yarn over through the loop and you have one, two, three already. Let's work another four, five, six, and seven. Now what we do is we don't work. This is a loop, it doesn't count as a stitch. We don't work on this one, we'll work on the second from the crochet hook. What we do is we go through the chain, we yarn over, comes through again the chain, we have two loops on our crochet hook, we yarn over again and we pull through all, creating the first single crochet. For uh, US terminology, it's, it's, if it's British, it's a double crochet. But I'm going to use US because that's how I learn it and it's just easier for me. So we are going to work on an increase in this stitch, meaning we are going to do another stitch, another single crochet, crochet stitch in the same uh, chain we had. Having Now we have two single crochets in this one and for the next four, is it? Yeah, for the next four chains we are going to work on a single crochet for each. So one single crochet Oops. One single crochet, two, 
three, four, <coughs> and if you have been following the pattern through, you should be left with only one to work on. And on this one, we are going to work four single crochets. And this means that the work is going to turn by itself clockwise. Let's do that. Let's work the first two. So one and two. One and two. And what this means is we are finishing this side of the round and we are going to turn over and start working on the foundation, the chain foundation. And we are going to repeat what we've just done. So we've create, we are going to add another two single crochets into the same uh, the same chain, which was the first one we've created. We have now four in this first chain. And we're going to work another four, this time single crochets in it for each, one single crochet for each stitch. I'm working the end as well. I'm going to work the end, meaning I'm going to um, just put the end of the yarn parallel to the stitches we are working on. <coughs> Two, three, and four, oh, four. And now we are going to pull out the end because we've worked on it throughout the, f the five stitches. And we are going to add another two to this little end here as we did on this end. So one and two here. For the second round we are going to work one single crochet for each single crochet you've created before we'll have 16 stitches at the end of round two and let's start with this one that's one we can add the stitch marker two no increases on this round three four Five, six, seven, eight, if the work starts to kind of curl up it's only natural because we are not doing any increases so it's going to tighten a little bit and curl up a little bit. Were we on nine? I think we were. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And sixteen. I hope we were because if <laughs> we weren't then we are wrong. But I think we were on nine. Okay, so now we have 16 stitches on this round. Sorry, let me just pull another a little bit more yarn. And we are going to work on an increase on the next round. And what we'll do is, sorry, on the first stitch of the next round, we work one single crochet. And let's put the stitch marker back on. And on this little corner, we are going to work two single crochets. So on the next stitch, we work two single crochets, one and two. One single crochet for each stitch for the next five stitches. One, two, three, four and five. Now we work an increase again with two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two. 
one single crochet in the next one and two in the next because we are turning so we are going to repeat the pattern again one and two now like we've done on this side we are going to add five single crochets one for each stitch one oh, two three four and five and two single crochets for the last one of this round of this row, uh, row or round <coughs> one and two we are now finished the third one and what we're going to do for the next round let me just again pull in a little yarn it's work another increase so now we are going to start by making two single crochets in the first two stitches of the, the fourth round so one and two and add a stitch marker on the first one and work an increase on the third so one single crochet and two single crochet on the same stitch now we work one uh, two three one stitch for each four five and six single crochets one for each stitch of the previous round now we work two in the same one and two an increase we add one and two singles no increase and one single crochet with another in the same stitch meaning an increase now we are going to repeat which means six single crochets one for each stitch one two three four five six and on the final stitch we are going to work sorry let me just grab the whole yarn we are going to work as a uh, increase meaning one and two in the same stitch okay we have now we are now finished with the fourth round and what we're going to do between the fifth and the, the twelfth round meaning for seven rounds we are going to work one single crochet for each just one single crochet in each stitch up to the round number 12 or for six, seven rounds I'm going to meet you there we've just finished round 12 and we are going to change yarn so we cut cut this off uh, the blue one off and I've loosened up the, the stitch the last stitch I've done a little bit now the tail goes into the last the loose loop of the stitch and you pull it through the stitch and now you can actually tighten it and make sure that this doesn't fall apart now we grab the yarn, the white yarn and what we are going to do it's quite simple you can leave the tails out and work on them later on the last stitch you've made you are going to start with a slip stitch which is a very very tiny stitch <laughs> what you do is you put the crochet hook through the last stitch you've done you pull the yarn you yarn over white pull it through and now you're going to work on the next stitch and what we do is three chains two and three and work a single on the next stitch 
of on the first on the next stitch in the in the scratch mitten. Sorry, I got a little confused. <laughs> so a single crochet in the next, and now we add again another three chain and a single crochet in the next stitch that creates that frilly bit. Another three chain of three, one, two, three, and a single crochet on the next. And this is what we are going to repeat until the end. Now that we've reached the end, all we need to do is a chain of three, two and three, and we are going to join it with the first chain that we've created for uh, at the beginning and that's it sew in your ends and we have done the scratch mittens let's just finish it off and that's it i hope you enjoy it please leave your comments S subscribe to the channel for new projects and um if you want to share your photos on Facebook, uh, just look for Crochet's Fab. Thank you for watching Crochet's Fab and so are you.